A curve can be trimmed at a selected reference to either break it into segments or remove a specific side of the curve. Curves can be trimmed using a datum point, plane, or curve. If we take a look at the trim tool while nothing in the graphics area is selected, we can see that it's grayed out and can't be selected because the curve that will be trimmed must be pre-selected before the tool is started. So let's select the curve and then go back to start the trim tool from the editing group. For this trim, we're going to select this datum point as the trimming reference. Creo Parametric highlights a side of the curve in blue. That denotes the portion of the curve that will be removed by the trim operation. In the graphics area, you can click the direction arrow to flip the trim side. You can also click Flip Trim Sides up here in the dashboard to make the trim remove either side or keep both sides of the trimmed curve. Click Complete Feature to trim away the right side of the curve. For our next example, we're going to switch to the front view of this part and turn on the display of datum planes. This datum plane intersects our single curve. Select the curve, start the trim tool, then select the datum plane as the trim reference. This time we'll click flip trim side two times so that both sides of the trimmed curve will be kept. Once the operation is completed, we can confirm that the curve was actually trimmed because now we can select each curve segment individually. Regardless of whether you have a point, plane, or curve intersecting another curve, they can all be used as trim references to break it into parts or remove a side.